And our next final to get underway is the uh, under-19 men's Cox Four. And uh, there's the uh, start at the moment. And we have Scotch Oakburn from Launceston in lane one, Melbourne High School in lane two, Sydney Rowing Club in three, Kinross Wallahoy in four, then two Geelong Grammar Schools in lanes four, five and six, Scotch Oakburn again from Launceston in lane seven, Melbourne High School in lane eight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, presentations of medals for the under-19 women's Coxless Four. And the medals to be presented by Kate Hornsey, three times world champion and Olympic silver medals. Third place and bronze medalist, River City Women's and University of Queensland Composite Crew. Anna Triscott from the University of Queensland. And Holly Faso from River City. Levi Ballinger from River City. And our stroke. Susie Taylor, also River City. Coach of the crew, Daniel Bottas. The second place and silver medalists, the Adelaide uh, Dorwood de Morieta High School, Murray Bridge and Sassy Composite. Georgia Seidel from Murray Bridge. Maria Hatchard. Tess Robinson from Adelaide. And the stroke, Amy Miller of Adelaide. And our coaches, Ron Mobbs, Riley Lum, and Beck Lannan. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our gold medalists and Australian champions for 2015, the University of Queensland and Mossman Composite Crew. Raphael Estelf from Mossman. Lily Alton Triggs, University of Queensland. Maddie Southall, University of Queensland. Stroke, Josephine Teal, University of Queensland. And our coaches, Edward Drayton and Alfie Young. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate the 2015 Australian champions and medalists. Now, ladies and gentlemen, back to the course. It is the final of the men, uh, under the under 19 men's coxed four, and it's Phil Coates with the microphone. Yes, and they've uh, moved through the 500 metre market. A surprise early leader, I have to say, in uh, Sydney Rowing Club out of lane three over on the uh, far side. They were comfortably accounted for in the uh, heat uh, earlier in the week, but uh, today they've uh, come out firing and. Uh, leading through the uh, the early stages narrowly from Geelong Grammar who uh, finished a couple of lengths ahead of Sydney Rowing Club in uh, the heats a couple of days ago so uh, you'd expect uh, Geelong to uh, perhaps move up and start to challenge Sydney Rowing Club for the lead but uh, they've 
continued with their uh, resolute push in front there, Sydney Ryan Club. Kinross Wallaroy are uh, right up there as well as uh, Geelong Grammar, who I mentioned. So those uh, three boats uh, battling it out uh, over on the far side. And on the near side, Scotch Oakburn have had an aggressive start. The uh, Launceston-based uh, school have uh, two crews in the uh, race here, one drawn in lane one and one in lane seven. And as they come through the thousand, it's Kinross Wallaroy now who have struck the front. Uh, by about half a canvas ahead of Sydney and Geelong Grammar and nothing between those two crews. And uh, then Scotch Oakburn in lane seven on the near side, about a length and a half away further back uh, and Canberra Grammar in lane six, the adjacent lane there. Uh, then we have Melbourne High, uh, two Melbourne High boats in this race and two from Scotch Oakburn and uh, the Melbourne High boats are occupying sixth and seventh placings at the moment ahead of Scotch Oakburn in lane one in eight. So uh, very tight race between the uh, first three boats here with Sydney coming out to an early lead but uh, Kinross making the move in that second 500 metres and uh, this would very much be uh, the sort of event that Kinross would have targeted and one they looked at the start of the week and thought uh, they'd be a great chance of uh, taking out a win in the under 19 men's cops to four as the uh, basically the top boat in the uh, men's shed for Kinross is the cox to four uh, in the senior group of that school so Kinross uh, rightly targeting this event and leading through the thousand meter mark but uh, still very little between Sydney Kinross and uh, I'm expecting a move to come from Geelong Grammar uh, at any moment, but uh, Kinross doing very well out in front here. They've uh, established a bit of a margin on the two crews to either side, and uh, that trio have uh, cleared out a bit from the remainder of the field, with Scotch Oakburn still holding fourth place ahead of uh, Canberra Grammar and Melbourne High on the near side, and uh, then the two crews in the far side of the course in lanes one and two it out for seventh place. But uh, Kinross Wallaroy in that distinctive uh, blue coloured shell uh, in front, but uh, the move coming from Geelong Grammar now uh, on the near side. Looks like Kinross have uh, shaken off Sydney to the adjacent lane. They've got about a length on them and uh, a similar margin to Geelong, but uh, Geelong certainly have a, a sprint finish in them and uh, they've got the boat moving quite nicely there. The ratings just uh, crept up a little bit and they've got a point or two on Kinross. So we'll see if that can translate to any sort of boat speed. As uh, Sydney Ryan Club really starts to fade now, that early uh, early effort starting to take its toll. And I think fitness could be a factor in that crew, which will give uh, Scotch Oakburn a chance to uh, perhaps challenge for third place over the concluding stages. But Kinross still out in front here as they uh, strike the 250 metre marker. And it looks like it's their race to lose here. The uh, Sydney Ryan Club's challenge is gone on the far side. Geelong coming uh, with all their effort on the near side, but uh, Kinross holding a clear advantage and uh, looks like they're gonna be able to muscle this out over the concluding stages. They're not rating overly high, but uh, putting plenty in the water in the uh, blue of Kinross. And they've got a clear margin coming into the uh, last 100 meters of the race. Uh, Sydney Ryan Club just rallying on the far side and a good battle between them and Geelong Grammar for the minor placings. It's Scotch Oakburn well back now in fourth place. But uh, coming up to the last 50 metres of the race, Kinross Wallaroy clearly in front and uh, a dominant display in the end, cruising through in that middle thousand metres to set up a winning advantage and going right on with it in the final stages. They cross the line in first place. Sydney Ryan Club and Geelong Grammar fighting it out for second. Sydney Ryan Club will get it on the line there with uh, Geelong Grammar back in third and the Kinross lads absolutely delighted with the win there in the 19 Coxed Fours. Scotch Oakburn crossing fourth place just ahead of Melbourne High in lane eight. Then Canberra Grammar, uh, the second Melbourne High combination over in lane two and Scotch Oakburn will round out the field on the far side. But a big win to Kinross Swallaroy, Nick Filmer, Joe Yermans, Zach Whitehead, Jack Lamp and the Cox Elise Bennett. And the unofficial winning time by Kinross Wallaroy, 6.38.92. They beat um, Sydney Rowing Club and Geelong Grammar into third place.